It's me Pluto and tonight is pizza night. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore. When the world seems to shine like you've had too much wine, that's amore. Okay, okay, the first the first thing is really important. You can't blame me if your pizza if your pizza doesn't work out after trying from this video, okay? The the legal the legal disclaimer video also applied to cooking, okay? So so my mom they make the they make the pizza that's inspired by the Naples lands in in the Italy lands. It has a it has a very thin crust and then it and then the dough gets really excited and it puffs up like an angry cat all, all around the edges. So it should have like an airhead crust, but it shouldn't be too thick, okay? And you cook it really, really hot. We're we're pretty serious here about the pizza. So we have we have a special pizza oven with, with a top speed of 800 that we use. But you could use your normal oven and maybe you could put a stone or a pizza a pizza steel and you let it get really, really, really as hot as you can, okay? Okay, okay, first you you have to measure out the flour and you need three hundred and grams of flour half half should be the bread flour and the other is is the everything flour okay and if you can't do the maths that's 153 grams of each plus some extra okay maybe probably whatever okay then then you put you put in some salts okay we we use the pink salt and whoa if if you think all salts are the same it's totally not but but i'm going to explain that another time in another video okay so then you, then you swish those around and you swish them all up together. Okay, next next is time for the puffer grains, okay? That's what that's what makes it go up in the oven, okay? And mom, she uses two two teaspoons and she dumps she dumps them in one cup of warm water, not too hot. Just well kind just kind of warm enough that if you stuck your fingers in you might feel you might feel like you have to go pee a little bit, okay? Okay. Then you swish all those around, okay? You swish them around, and then you have to add the olive juice, okay? You you put about two teaspoons of that slippery stuff, okay? Okay, okay, then then you, you, you swoosh it all in the bowl. Go, just go slow, don't spill, because the, sli the slippery juice is really hard to clean, okay? So, so then you pour that in with the flowers and the salts, and you make a big sticky mess. <laughs> Okay, okay. So first you just turn you turn it a little bit with the spoon until until it gets a little bit less sticky. And then and then when you can scoop it all up, you you make a floury spot on the table and you plunk it down in a little ball and you let it do some snores, okay? The, the clap is really important because it makes the dough super excited about what's coming next. So after about 10 minutes you Scoop it all up and you, you, you do the knead. So you put you put some flour on the tables and then you do the squishing. And it's really, really important that you don't go too rough, okay? So so you don't make the doughs if you're mad at something, okay? Just you just go gentle, gentle but firm. <laughs> okay. Don't don't ask me how long because I, I I I can't tell time. Okay, it could be five minutes or it could be fifteen minutes. A apparently, it just depends on on the feels of the dough. Okay, it should it should start to squish like mom's Buddha belly. So so maybe you could just practice on your own belly or borrow the right kind of pizza dough belly and try it out. I mean I mean the COVIDs have created some really great practice bellies. Okay, once it's all elastic and nice and smooth like a freshly groomed schnauzer bum, you, you, make a, you make a little ball, okay, and then you tuck it underneath like a belly button and you, you sprinkle some magic flour on it and then you just put it lightly on a floured plate and you, you cover it with a little cloth, okay? Then, then you can go have some snores or watch the YouTubers or whatever because the dough, it needs to, ha it needs to have some time to grow up to be a pizza. So it's pretty easy peasy. Now we're just going to relax and then later we're going to put, put our favorite toppings and lots of cheese and we're going to have a delicious pizza and maybe maybe I could po I'll post some pictures tomorrow. Have a great weekend everyone. I hope you enjoyed the pizza making.